Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Combinations Part 30. I have quite a lot to explain to you, so I'm ever so quickly going to pause the game and quickly just pour it out. Basically, my recording that I did, which was the original Part 30, didn't save, um, but I saved the game just before I saved my recording, so there was nothing I could do except right now explain what's happened. Um, as you can see, Sam is in bed with Myra. Basically, um, so Sam and Myra, as you know, just after Sam got married, they had an affair in this very bed. While Bella was pregnant, no, when she, once she had Lily, but then, um, I honestly just wanted Sam to just confess to Bella because I decided that those two were going to be together. We were going to end it with Myra. And I said, okay, so Sam should go to Bella and tell her that he cheated on her the day after their wedding and see how she takes it. It should be fine. No problem. And she went berserk. She was furious. We tried to apologize. She was not having any of it. And it was really, you know, I didn't want that to happen, but it kind of did. Where is Bella now? I don't know where she is now. But uh, basically, them two were not getting along. And the more I tried, the more they hated each other. And she just didn't want to get back with get back with him to be honest and their relationship was really weird and I tried to get him to apologize so many times and console her be the shoulder to cry on just tell her how sorry we are that we're ready to embark on our journey and the rest of our life with her but she basically wouldn't take it so I moved her and she took Lily and then eventually there was no reason for Sam and Myra to not be together so fourth time lucky Sam is now with Myra they are in a relationship and his, oh, oh my, oh my god, what? I thought she had a sister. We invited her household over just so that was the only way she would come over. And I thought this was like her niece or her cousin or something, but it's her daughter. She has a daughter. What? And she has a partner, but she's in high school and she's engaged. Oh god. Well, now we know she's a single mother, so that makes us feel a little better, I would say. But where is she living? I'm so confused. But, um, oh, I think she is an adult. Sorry about that. But, um, Lily and, yeah, Bella, I don't know where they've gone. They've moved out. But, um, Elijah and Pauline are still together. But, um, I'm not sure if these two will be having any kids. <laughs> but, um, I do have some news. Oh, there we go. Josie found... Uh, Olive. Basically, Caramel died, I think. Yes, Caramel died. It was quite tragic. But yeah, can, I, can we just talk about Bella for a second? I'm, I'm so sorry for those who were rooting for Bella and Sam, but Bella is now gone, and I don't even know where she's living, but she's no longer here. And I also have another announcement. This, my friends, for now, is the last part of the Sims 3 Combinations LP, combined LP. Um, the reason I'm saying this is because I have so many amazing videos planned for you guys. I have just so much to just make my channel so diverse and I kind of, when I just went into the LP, I kind of just stuck to it for 30 LP episodes, as you can see. And I've got some creator sim videos and build, um, build a house videos that I will probably somehow see if I can um, put them up for download if anybody wants to download them because I know quite a few people would be interested in that and I also would like to do some store content reviews and perhaps some custom content reviews as well my favorites the ones I dislike the ones you should avoid that cause baby glitches as we've seen in every single baby in this LP except Lily but uh, without further ado because this is the last part and today is love day um I guess I don't know what we're gonna do the next parts that I do upload will probably be in a couple months time maybe less time I don't I'm not sure but I'm gonna be uploading quite frequently my other videos and probably starting a new LP uh, just after that as well but once I get into that a bit I'm gonna continue to upload this but I'm um, it's gonna be way in the future so all the adults will be old I'm guessing Josie will be an adult Nate will probably be a teenager 
if Myra and Sam have a kid, I don't know, but they won't be living here, so it will, I don't know, but we are going to go around town, see how Elijah's doing, if him and Josie actually end up together, if Nate ever ends up making friends, we don't know, but um, I'm not that sad to end the selfie, because I was kind of getting sick of the whole recording, not saving situation, but um, I should have not started in the middle of the night, but I'm going to send Josie back to sleep. I don't know why she's up at this time. Myra and Sam are sleeping. He's heartbroken, but he's with Myra now, and I'm just happy, and she's over the moon as well, so I'm just excited for them. And these two, I told them to woohoo, and suddenly they're on a date. I don't know what was happening, but these two are, as always, in love, and they are also having their one year anniversary today on Love Day, which is absolutely amazing because the last Love Day, they actually got married, I think. Or maybe the one before, I, I don't even know. It probably is the one we just had. So I'm gonna get her to go back to sleep and I will get back to you guys in the morning. Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is Myra. I don't know if you even recognize her. All I did was apply a little bit of makeup and change her hair and obviously give her a new outfit. I decided to do this instead of waiting till the morning. I thought, you know, I'm going to do it eventually. And she is as cute as a button. Myra is so cute. I'm going to quickly explain what I did. I gave her some custom brows that look really natural. Her natural eye color is very um, hazily moss green yellowy I don't know it's kind of like an interesting greenish color so I made her um, makeup according to that she doesn't have anything on her face it's just a bit of blush and I gave her some nice nude lips and her hair I've been um, kind of I want to keep Myra as much as Myra as I can but honestly with makeup she looks totally different but you know that's what happens when you come to the rich life, baby. But I gave her this very natural hair color. Hers was kind of, you know, when the bots kind of have um, the pre-made sims, they have this greeny yellow color. It was like that, but it was more on the brown side. So I thought I'd go ahead and give her that. But I do want to show you what I gave her. Was it this? I gave her a beautiful, beautiful reddish pink color. I have so many reddish pinks. I think it was this. Maybe it was this. Anyway, it was one of these, and I just want to know which one you prefer, uh, the natural or this. Um, her clothes are pretty simple. I think they're pretty much very her, and I don't even know if I just saved the other things. So I'm just going to have to press back and go back to it. But um, I think she looks adorable either way. I do like the natural, but this color is just so much more to my taste. But I do try and keep my sims very true to themselves, and I think this... Oh, this colour is just so much nicer. Yeah, we're not going to go artificial. We're going to... Oh, I've already saved it. Excellent. Where is it? Oh, here. It was right here the whole time. So, I don't know. This is pretty nice, but it's summer, so she might as well go light and natural. And her makeup's that way as well. And we're going to quickly go into um, uh, her wardrobe and just go through the changes that I made. I didn't change any of her traits. Um... Look, this is what she used to look like, and now she's still the same, but even more beautiful, and I think she's perfect for Sam, and I think her and Sam are the perfect couple. She's a couch potato, family-orientated, green thumb, light sleeper, and mean-spirited, which is perfect, you know. She's not very athletic, I think, but she um, she's just the perfect woman for Sam, in my opinion. Everybody else is too complex, wants high expectations, and she's just, oh my god, she is so cute. Her face, she's just adorable. Her eyes, everything about her. For her every day, because it is love day today and it's the first day of spring and we've got summer to go through, even though this is the last episode for now, um, I went ahead and gave her this absolutely gorgeous jumpsuit. Um, I gave her these colours just because I just wanted to be kind of simple, nothing too, you know, attention seeking. Uh, pretty much a pinkish nude and some navy going down to the bottom. And the same with her sandals. Uh, nude basic sandals with a little, um, the base of it navy. And it's got a nice little necklace and just some very tiny little studs. And that's it. And she's just so pretty. Okay, let's just look at her one more time. Look at her face. She is just so pretty. I cannot get over her. And to me, when I look at her, she's still Myra, but... I know deep down she's still that Myra that doesn't like to wear makeup and just wants to go to the bar and 
serve up some drinks. I need to check out her skills, by the way. I, I don't think I did that. But um, this is her formal wear. As you know, I think her style's very different. It's not feminine. It's not masculine. <laughs> it's just, you know, she's... I've just tried my best with her. I think this is the best that she could do, you know, just... I don't think she would want to wear heels that often either. I just gave her this little throw-on kind of dress with a little jacket, I think it's... I'm not really sure what it is, but it's very different. And I like the low cut, and I think it suits her. And I think she feels comfortable in it, so I thought I'd give her that. And her sleepwear is so, so, so adorable. She just looks like a little teenager. She is a young adult, so... I gave her this little jumpsuit PJs kind of thing with a ribbon and I made it uh, this very cute lemonish colour. I think it's very, very, very nice. Oh, she's so cute. I love Myra. I just think she looks adorable and it looks very silky and soft and I bet Sam would like that in the bed. <laughs> her athletic wear is one of my favourites, honestly. I can see her wearing this around the house. It's so gorgeous. I love mint and aqua colours and with the white it just looks perfect for summer. Summer. I could see her and um, Sam just working out together, being a fit couple even though they're both not very athletic. Um, I gave her this little custom belly piercing because I thought she would have her belly pierced and it just suits her and her skin colour and her tan. And she's just honestly the prettiest sim in this whole LP. She's, to me she's more beautiful than Zelda and Veronica and everybody. She's just so so beautiful because she's plain you know and I love this top this is actually custom uh these shoes I think from university I'm not sure at all I don't even think they are but these uh yoga pants are from university her swimwear oh, swimwear is very her you know very basic very sporty as in comfortable I think she always looks for comfort and again with her belly piercing very very nice and I honestly, I'm in love with her outerwear because it's something that I would wear and something she would wear. I honestly, when I just saw it, it looks like something I would wear. She has this very nice burgundy leather jacket with these burgundy Doc Martens custom ones. And just a cute little white tank inside on the, you know, more rainy days of the spring. And these really tight little jeans. And I think she still looks like Myra to me. She looks absolutely beautiful. She's gorgeous and I'm so excited. I just can't, oh, I'm just, I can't believe it. I want her and Sam to have babies just so I can see their genetics. <laughs> and they probably will in the very distant future, but I think she's absolutely gorgeous. But it is like 4 a.m. in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and make her change into her athletic wear. And I think she can go for a midnight, you know, it's not midnight, a jog down to the beach. She's going to jog to the beach because I want her to be fit. Oh my god, she can't even do that. Well, up oh, her skill, yeah. She has mastered the mixology skill, which is very impressive. She was a bartender, but that's all she can do. Little Baxter running. So I think she should come downstairs and practice um, starting up her cardio you know her heart you need to keep her healthy and she's so pretty I can't even why was we not with her sooner she is the most perfect girl ever and oh yeah and her hair I looked at many styles styles that are updos and hats suited her the most anything like long or out or half up half down even curly straight it just didn't look right on her I think it just didn't look like her. She looked like a completely different person. I think now she still kind of looks like herself. And she, her body. She has an amazing body. She looks really fit. So I want to get her fit. But what's everybody doing? Sam's awake. I can't wait for him to see his wifey. But he's going to come downstairs. And go ahead and work out with his... No, he can't. Too unhappy. Well, he can come downstairs, take a shower. Our little Nate's downstairs. And you can go ahead and, oh my god, we have so much. I have some pancakes. We need to throw out the wedding cake, by the way. <laughs> it's not a good idea. But he wants to be friends with Veronica. Let's do it. Love day is here. Go hug your friend and kiss your partner because love is in the air. Take your special someone to the spring festival. Or better yet, find some find your soulmate there. Oh, 
love it oh yeah and I think Olive is in her inventory I think today she should contact Elijah oh god I mean to put him away I think she should wake up now the little Bex has been running around I think he can go to sleep love day he can stay at home today I don't know if I want to breed Baxter. I think it's it's just nice to have him. And he's just not aging. He's so stuck. I, oh, I'm just going to reset him. Baby Baxter. Because he's not aging. Like He's literally been 21 days old since we've got him. He should be like old by now. But he's forever young. And Sam's downstairs... I don't know if we're ever going to give Sam a haircut, by the way. I'm feeling so nostalgic. I'm just thinking of all the old moments. I wish I did take pictures from the beginning of the LP. We could have made a cute little slideshow of when everybody first met. But look at Josie in her little <laughs> basketball top. We're going to go ahead and text Elijah. Send him a love letter. And then invite... Oh, invite him out. Yeah, let's... Go for some breakfast or something. See if he wants to come with us. And I think we did break up with our babysitter over phone. Oh, she's so beautiful. Look at her. Oh, She went to the school of peace and love. So here's Myra looking absolutely gorgeous in her mint and aqua. I love those colours. Minty aqua colours and purpley lilac-y colours like the pastel. They're just my favourite. I'm an Aquarius, so... I just love blue. I don't know if that's anything to do with it, but I love water. I love swimming. I love the colour blue. <laughs> I don't know if it's anything to do with me being an Aquarius, but um, I'm literally like an elephant. I drink so much water. Oh, sounds like fun to meet you there. Ooh. Oh my god, these two are the hottest couple ever. All right, I have to take a picture of these two, like working out, like, oh my goodness. I'll take a quick one. Whatever. <laughs> they are so hot I can't even but uh, right now we're going to go with Josie to the spring festival and because it's still a bit of snow a bit of snow outside our house is just completely we have holiday lights we have bloody um, what are these from the um, uh, spooky day they're from fall now we're going to the spring festival in our winter wear and some of us are dressed in summer it's just not going well but she's gonna go oh he's here already oh these two i'm gonna get her to actually change her clothes um what's her athletic wear why don't she just change into them oh his hair is killing me he's such a daddy's boy they both have crazy, crazy hair. But let's see how Josie's liking Elijah. I'm so excited. Do you think she could be Josie one one day? Ew, Pauline will be her mother-in-law. That's really weird. Oh my god, Pauline will be... Pauline is... Oh, free vacation. No, we've already had one. We won't have a free vacation. I want to play with Myra and Sam a bit. Um, but... Pauline, so her future boyfriend, possibly's mum, is her dad's ex fiance. So her mother in law will be her. What? Apparently, Jared Fryo. Oh, we don't care. Unless it's Jared Leto. Let's give him a gift. Let's give him a greeting card. We have loads. Oh, he don't. Excuse me. Oh, what a snob. Let's ask about his career then. I guess he likes to talk about himself. Let's ask him to watch this. She wants to kiss him. Where is he going? Oh my god, he just ran away from us. Where is he going? Let's just go to his house, I guess. Because it is pretty cold. I don't understand what kind of love day this is. It's like freezing. But um, let's see how Veronica... These guys, the Farringtons are literally never home. But what I want to do is actually find out where um, Bella moved. Where did she go? She just picked up a left. Like, ew. Bebe is neighbours with, oh my god. <laughs> Our exes are all like at the beach. 
this whole area is kind of cursed, I would say. We just don't want to be there, but let's see what Josie's doing. Oh, Myra's cooking. Sam is working out and Josie has stalked Elijah back home because she really wants to kiss him. And she's wearing her cute little... Oh, what is it with him in this suit? You know what? Elijah really reminds me of Chuck Bass from Gossip Girl. Just look at what he's wearing. That hair. That suit though. Like, what the hell? Seriously. Let's give him flowers. I bet he'd like that. <laughs> Actually, no, Josie's not that kind of gal. Like, she probably likes burps. Like, let's just show him insane cat videos. Let's show him a gross video. Oh, yeah, they're married. Duh. But let's just give him a heat of the moment kiss. Let's see if he'll accept it. Sam would not like us doing this. Go for it, Josie. I believe in you. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, God. <gasps> She's like, I'm gonna kiss you. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, hell no. And Pauline's just sitting like, girl, I see you. I see you. These two, oh, my God, they're romantic interests. I don't think... Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm not going to rush them into a relationship. But I can see these two possibly being together in the future. And Josie, why is she all the way down there? Oh god. I really need to fix my ageing system. It's really been messed up in this whole thing. But, um... Let's give him a massage. Let's, let's go get something to eat with him. Let's go to the diner. We don't care if he's a snob. We're paying. Come with us. Let's go. Let's go, babes. And Sam is actually going to stop. He's going to take a shower. And then him and his babes, Myra, are going to go... Oh, he's still crying over Bella. Oh, shut up. You can go see your daughter whenever you want. Come take a shower. How's Hank doing? Hank is the man. Oh, maybe we can chat to his son a little bit. Let's praise him. Let's flatter him. Ooh. Justine Keaton. <gasps> That's Marvin Keaton's mum. Oh, we're so going to that. And we're taking Elijah with us to um, shove it in his face. So, all right. So these two can go to the festival. Him and his lady. Uh, Hank is going to the party. Uh, Zelda, she can take a shower. <laughs> And maybe Nate can come as well to this party. You know what? We're all going to this party. I don't even care. Let's, let's just all go. Literally, our whole house. This house is incredible. Look at it. Kudos to whoever made it. But she's going to come here on Love Day with her beloved son to this party. Uh, Sam and Myra aren't going to be attending. But Josie and whoever else is here. Oh, who is that? Justine Keaton. Alright. We are going to be attending this party. I hope it's not just old people. Like, hopefully Marvin's here. Is he here? He's probably not. Styles McGraw. Tamara Donna. Why is she, like, green? Oh. Well, no one's here, so... Whatevs. They can go to the theatre and make out. But Sam and Myra are officially on their little date which is super duper super duper cute um are they gonna go to the kissing booth uh oh <gasps> bella freeds is working at the kissing booth <laughs> we're gonna ask to be kissed he's like well 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 ew Ew. Dude, your girlfriend is there. You know what? Myra's going to come and she's going to kiss Bella as well. Like, ha ha, I stole your man. I stole your man. <laughs> Can we fight her now? No, we can't. Anyway, let's go do some couple stuff. 
use with ew ew Bella makes me feel sick now Bella's never actually done anything wrong to us you know it's Bebe that we should be hating on but um <gasps> the perfect picture the perfect picture oh Whoa, hot stuff. Double hotness. Please allow Love Inspector to be bask in your glow for just a little while longer. <laughs> These two are like the couple of the town. And I want them to win Spring Fling Queen. <laughs> the Dancing Queen and the Dancing King. Got kissed at a kissing booth. Stop thinking about your wife or your ex-wife. You two need to like rebound kiss. You need to propose to her. I'm joking. No, 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 not today. Let's make out with her. Make Bella jealous. Take a romantic picture. Whisper. Uh, embrace her. These two are going to take it slow. Ooh, no. Ew. But it's 3 p.m. What should we do? Oh, maybe they can skate for a bit. They can come over here and skate when they're done. No. I just want them to get over Bella. And I want these two to just be happy together. And they're going to grow old together. Fourth time lucky. You know, he had Pauline. And then Bebe. And along came Bella. But then there was Myra. And we're never going to cheat on her. Oh. No. We are never going to cheat on her. We are never going to do anything to hurt her or upset her. And this love day is honestly a little bit... What is that? Is that an apple tree? Oh, well... Oh, okay. Because she can... She's a green thumb. She can actually talk to plants, like how you can in Sims 2. So she's going to come talk to this apple tree a bit. And then harvest some apples while... Samuel is skating. <laughs> hey Nate, thanks for coming to my party. What is the bye? Alright. Golden tongue, golden fingers. That looks like something that I think she could do. But where is Elijah? We need to invite him over. We have a free house. Duh. Like, come on. Get with it. Can you stop talking to this chick and come home? And you come home as well they because it's raining I would have sent them somewhere actually it's a tradition these two like to go on their little dates so let's go ahead and go on a little jet with our son and our daughter no not our daughter we'll go as a couple and take Nate with us because Nate is just a cutie and we have to go with him and Nate's walking in the rain that's just absolutely great. I'm going to leave them to do that. While we focus. Oh my goodness, she stinks like butt crack. Is he coming over? I think he is. Oh my god, he's here. Can you, like, open the door? Uh, invite inside. Yeah, it's raining. Everybody come home because, like, everybody's just going to get struck by lightning and it's not even funny. Like, come home. Go home, go home, go home. Myra's like harvesting the whole freaking park. Like, go home. Watch a wild horse. I honestly thought one of her traits would be like animal lover. But, uh, oh my god, she is playing hard to get. She is making Elijah wait so much. He's probably even gone home by now. But Go, Josie, go. Go greet your man. Oh, he's still waiting. He's literally been waiting an hour for her to just have a shower. He's like, dude, let me in. These two can have a pillow fight while nobody's home. Cute, cute, cute. These lot are having dinner. These lot are coming home. But it's okay because it's not that her parents. Oop, be kind. Hank will always be kind. The bus boy apologizes. Yay, more baked angel cake. <laughs> Angle cake. Angel cake? Can't remember what it's called. 
flirt. You can flirt with your wife. You have a hot wife. But uh, not as hot as Myra. Alright, so these two are getting first gay. Pillow fighting. Mm. Confused about what? Fast car. <laughs> She is beating him up. I think she can call him to come get some baked, what's it called? Angel cake. Baked angel cake. And where is Myra going? No, come home. Come home. Where is he? Read something. Dudes, come home. And Bax is just like chilling. He wants to sniff Myra. But um, I'm going to get Myra to actually fill the chocolate fountain with white chocolate come home oh my good someone is about to die unless they come home i'm literally about look at him just coming in his motorbike like what's wrong with you end your date people like get over it come in here while your beautiful wife oh she's not your wife yet she will be soon and come get some chocolate fountain goodness, some white chocolate. Josie's gonna come and drink from the fountain because she's just vile. And it's probably gonna turn on Elijah. <laughs> so that was probably like, son, what are you doing here? May I ask? Oh, these two, they're gonna woohoo tonight. But uh, Nate's like, mom, dad, you're being disgusting. So I'm just gonna go home. And I think Sam can drink from the fountain as well. And then him and Myra can go relax upstairs. And I think actually Hank and Zelda will do the same. And Josie's staying up with her boyfriend. Well, not quite her boyfriend yet, but let's go and do it in front of everybody. This is really weird, but let's see if he wants to be our boyfriend. He's probably going to say no, like, he's probably a D-bag. We don't even know anything about him, we just know that he's snobby. And he just goes to our school, but... Ew, who's that? Girl, bye, he's married. Come on, guys. I know you two want it. Just go for it. Go for it. Is Myra here? Myra, stop playing video games. Just come up here. Hank, relax. And then go for some woohoo with your wife. Sam, you do the same with Myra once she gets here. Poor Nate's in his little room sleeping. Hank and Zelda win. They are at it so fast. And what's Josie doing? Josie is trying to get him... Oh, I think it's happening. I wonder if he's got a girlfriend already. <gasps> Is that why? Oh my god. What? What are we replacing? Oh, was there a fire? Oh my goodness. No wonder. Oh, and there goes these two. And they can end their date now. What's that? Chocolate shame. If you ask me, it was worth it. <laughs> Something that I would say. End that date and go to sleep, you two. Same with these two. Go to sleep. And why doesn't he want to be with us yet? Like, we've been waiting our whole lives. Because I just tend to go home, like, bye. Because we're going to go to sleep. And guys, that is almost the end. Oh, little Cole is sleeping, but we're going to go and fill his terrarium. Actually, no, we can fill um, Olive's food terrarium. She can come and gusty up for bed. And that is actually the end of The Sims 3 Combinations LP Season 1. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm excited to get on with some other videos and finally go ahead and get away from this LP however much I love it. 
this is literally all I've been playing for months. I haven't been playing my other games. I've been obsessed with this and I'm just excited for it to all come to a, a pause. You know, we need a break. We need a break from combinations. And I know it's spring and it's a Friday, but I do love the holiday lights. And yeah, I'm really excited to see where these lot go with their lives. Sam and Myra, they're not definitely moving out anywhere soon. Oops, because they haven't had kids yet. And one day, if they do decide to have kids, um, we will then go ahead and move out. But for now, this is it. And I'm so excited. And yeah, the next time you see these guys, they probably will be growing old. Myra will probably still be young and hot as fuck. But um, that's it for now. So I will see you guys in my next video, which will be a creator sim, I think. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this LP. I hope you've enjoyed it. Someone's awake because my sims are disobedient. Oh, no one's awake. <laughs> All right, I also need to sell. I just want to say thank you so much for watching my videos and for all the views that I have and any subscribers that I have. I know it's not much, but for me, it's quality, not quantity. And of course, I'm trying to expand my channel. So my next video will definitely be a creator sim. I have a very special one in mind and she is a cutesy patootsy. So please stay tuned for that. Yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.